Groundworks form the foundation of any construction project, involving all necessary tasks to prepare a site for building. Understanding the terminology associated with Groundworks is crucial for quantity surveyors to accurately estimate costs and manage projects effectively. Here are 15 key groundwork terms every quantity surveyor should know. And if you'd like us to create a video on different construction elements, please do comment below. Okay, on to the video. Number one, excavation. Excavation involves removing soil, rock, or other materials to create a cavity or hole for construction purposes. This process is essential for foundations, basements, and other substructures. Number two, trenching. Trenching is a process of digging narrow, elongated cavities into the ground, typically for the installation of utility lines such as water pipes, gas lines, or electrical conduits. Number three, backfilling. Backfilling is the process of refilling a trench or excavation with the material removed during excavation. This material is often compacted to provide stability to the surrounding structures. Number four, grading. Grading involves altering the slope and contour of the land to ensure proper drainage and to prepare the site for construction. This process is crucial for preventing water accumulation and ensuring a stable foundation. Number five, compaction. Compaction is a process of increasing the density of soil by mechanical means. This is essential for providing a stable base for foundations, roads, and other structures. Number six, subgrade. Subgrade refers to the native soil or imported material that is prepared to support a structure or pavement system. Proper preparation of the subgrade is crucial for the longevity and stability of the construction. Number seven, geotextiles. Geotextiles are permeable fabrics used in construction to separate, filter, reinforce, protect, or drain soil. They are commonly used in road construction, erosion control, and drainage systems. Number eight, piling. Piling involves driving long, slender columns, or piles, into the ground to support heavy loads from structures. Piles can be made of concrete or steel, and are used when soil is not strong enough to support the load. Number nine, shoring. Shoring is a process of temporarily supporting a structure or excavation with props or shores to prevent collapse. This is crucial for ensuring safety during construction. Number 10, cut and fill. Cut and fill refers to the process of excavating or cutting soil from one area and using it to fill, backfill, another area. This technique is used to create a level base for construction. Number 11, hard landscaping. Hard landscaping involves the construction of non-plant elements in a landscape, such as pathways, patios, retaining walls, and drainage systems. It contrasts with soft landscaping, which involves planting and vegetation. Number 12, Vibrocompaction. Vibrocompaction is a ground improvement technique that uses vibrations to rearrange soil particles into a denser configuration. It is often used in granular soils to increase load bearing capacity. Number 13, retaining wall. A retaining wall is a structure designed to hold back soil and prevent erosion or collapse of elevated areas. These walls can be made of concrete, stone, or other materials. Number 14, earthworks. Earthworks involve the movement and processing of large quantities of soil or rock to create a desired topography. This includes excavation, grading, and filling activities. Number 15, gabion. A gabion is a cage or box filled with rocks, concrete, or other materials used in civil engineering, road building, and military applications for erosion control, retaining walls, and other purposes. Mastering these groundwork terms is essential for quantity surveyors involved in the early stages of construction projects. Understanding these terms enable accurate cost estimation, effective project management, and clear communication with other professionals. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.